a banana bread at work, dude? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Zoom lady. I was going to say, I was waiting Thank for you, Zoom, Thank lady. you Zoom lady. Yeah, that was not <laughs> it. So lady was like, <laughs> Someone said, Hell yeah. And it made me think of that was a running bit. <laughs> that was me. I'm sorry. Of, yeah. It's all good. Hell yeah. Hell Thank yeah. you, Zoom lady. Yeah. But Thank Zoom lady, Zoom lady letting us know we're being recorded. Hell, Hell yeah, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right. Yes, we have returned with another little special wildly abandoned where we talk about uh yeah, Whoa. our <laughs> yeah, our most recent finished uh heinous investigations episode arc. This mm-hmm. one titled Journey to the Center of the Psyche and we get a lot of uh so we get a lot of we had Frank uh kind of in the forefront last time and Frank's still kind of here, but now we get some Orville yeah. stuff. So that's mm, fun. Dio for Dio. Yeah, I was about to say, speaking yeah, of Dio, 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 what are we talking about? I, well, excuse me. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Hey, listen, to be fair, I don't play Orville for the entirety of these episodes. Yeah, because yeah, Emily's also here. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Yes, well done, small Orville. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it, it, it's a good one. <laughs> Also here to yes, we've got our two Orvilles. Uh also here we've got Megan Twan. What? We're oh, also wow. in this arc. I'm also there. <laughs> For like two <laughs> seconds. It's like that SpongeBob I'm episode where there. he points to himself in the background. Look, I'm there. <laughs> Look, it's me. Yeah, you are, buddy. You yeah. really are. That's there. my brother. That's my brother <laughs> out there. <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, just, I think I don't even, I'm trying to remember like you and I, like Meg talking about like the lines for this. I remember you just being like, Benji's got like five lines. I was like, yeah. And you were just like, I'll have that done in like an hour. I'm like, cool. <laughs> to be fair, I remember reading these lines and I was like, this is top quality comedy. It was like yeah. the inside the mind of little Benji. I was like, this is hysterical. Yeah. I had so much fun recording these lines. But Benji's just so good. I really enjoy writing lines for Benji. I've said that a million times, but it it's I think it's just because it, it, Benji's one of those characters. There are a few characters on this show that I'm like I write down and I'm just like um this is what I wish I could say. <laughs> and I'm like Well, I yeah, really Benji's enjoy one of those reading people. those lines that you write. So thank you Yay. for letting me do that. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> also, really quickly before I forget, it is uh, still Pride Month while we're reading this. So it probably won't be when this comes out, but happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Yay. I'm to, as we're recording this tomorrow night, I'm going out with friends to a little place in Dallas we call the Gayberhood. And that's my first time uh, going out during Pride. So that'll be very fun. Wow. Yay. Yay. Have fun. Hey. I need to figure out what the hell I'm doing for Pride Plans because I got nothing and I think that yeah, very tomorrow. last minute. Yes, it does. You got two I, days I was like, left. I'm pretty sure that's, to, well, New York City Pride is tomorrow. Oh. And Sunday, oh. technically. But, like, it's yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. It like, is, so is, if you if you need to get anything performing? done, you cannot go to mm-hmm. the south tip of Manhattan. Just don't no. go there. Just but if you're ready go. to be gay, go mm. to the south tip of Manhattan. Being gay in Manhattan, <laughs> hell yeah! I already <laughs> missed. I already missed the Coney Island parade in Manhattan. Manhattan? Hell, hell yeah. Yeah. yeah! Me during college. <laughs> <laughs> oh, One of my, my favorite. I'm so sorry. This is off topic, but I saw a tweet. This says, "Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a gay man in New York City," and that resonated with me deeply. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I yes. love that. Yes. So, it was like, so oh my dreams, god, that's me. dreams do come true. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yes oh my gosh happy I mean, pride yeah happy pride if anybody if anyone in the new york area meg is suddenly gonna do something for pride tomorrow meg tell me meg <laughs> i'll let you know if anything comes up yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't have any plans i know i'm, I'm one like... of those gays that sits at home yeah, I'm I mean, so I got. I'm an, I mean, I'm an indoor gay. I'm, I'm so an, sorry. They can't, if they let me out, I would be bad for the environment. Yeah, I got so right, many, right, right. I mean, that I have like a million hot. flags in my apartment right now. Pride flags. There's, there's so many because I ordered like a bulk order of ten of them. <laughs> Hell yeah! 
for various purposes. For various in my purposes. Apartment? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> this is going to be a bit the whole time. This That's is bad because be hell, hell yeah is yeah. so ingrained in my vocabulary. Yeah. So now this running bit will forever be in my vocabulary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to miss a bit this, Every time. this one. This episode, this is the bit. Mm. Yeah. This is the bit. It. We got it. So, this bit. episodes, <laughs> the arc. Hey, hey we, it, we made it back. <laughs> in true wild women fashion, we made it back. Hey. Back. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Orville. Orville, Orville, yeah. So much, well, Orville. Orville. Happy Pride, I, <laughs> Yeah, I talk to myself a lot in this first episode. You really <laughs> do. Yes, you do. <laughs> I didn't we... realize how much until I was recording, and I was like, huh, all right. There's a lot of purple highlighted lines next to pink highlighted lines. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Your script I go is back bisexual. Like... Yeah. Wow. I want to go back and listen to the happy episode Pride. and like, the best. Happy divide happy up. Pride. How much <laughs> is just you talking it's in the just, episode? Yeah, someone else, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. of the it, however many minutes. It's just truly you. impressive. It's, Thanks. Yeah, I. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that that first that very first scene where like Orville's just in the library alone, and then Frank shows up, and that that whole exchange just had me like losing it every time because mm-hmm. it's just <laughs> just the Frank just the Frank being like, "How about now?" How about now? <laughs> um, like specifically, it, it just, it's very funny. Cause like you play two very, very different characters. It's very fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah, hundred percent. So just hearing them go back and forth is always good. And uh, yeah, I just think like, I know we just had a big Frank arc before, but like you, you learned some more things about, about Frank in this too, as well as Orville. But I guess like, I, I feel like I'm going to focus on just, Frank for a little bit first because I believe it was uh Jamie who said that like I think it was her boyfriend was just um, as as he was listening to it just kept going Frank no Frank no Frank no and I was like <laughs> yeah 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 he really makes some very very awful awful choices <laughs> yeah uh Frank is an incredibly well-meaning guy, but yeah, um, mm, boundaries mean just, nothing to him. <laughs> yeah, he never really learned that helping people only counts as helping people if they want or what? accept your help. Mm. Um, Preach. <laughs> he never really internalized the idea of people feeling like they don't need help or even if they need help, if they don't want it, it's just going to be destructive. Yeah. And he just never learned that. Um, nope. I blame that on many things. I think most of which I think are pretty much out in the open about Frank at this point. Yeah. Which, I mean, <laughs> to also be like, as an actor, you should always try to empathize with your characters. Um, very recently in, say, like the previous arc, Frank... Frank's view on receiving help that is not wanted was kind of reinforced because he did not want help from his friends and from his mentor or anything (laughs) dealing with uh, CR3TR because they're a very big source of trauma for him. But when he does it, (laughs) but (laughs) that that help did come in and helped him and he eventually accepted it and he eventually realized that it's what he needed all along. So internally, Uh... he's like, oh, if I help Orville out with this <laughs> yeah. thing, he'll yeah. he'll be okay with it. And it's like that's it works not then it should work it here. Too. Yeah. Yep. He's like, yeah, exactly. When I do it, same result. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, no. There's a bit of collateral when it when it comes to, to this particular bout of unwarranted mm-hmm. assistance. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think, yeah. And I think Frank is always the kind of person who, like, I mean, it's really extreme, but, like, who will, like, essentially probably die for his friends just out of fierce loyalty and defensiveness. Like, that's Mm -hmm. just, that's just who he is as a person. Um, And I think that, you know, sometimes he kind of lets his own ego and his own incredibly short attention span disrupts those, those good intentions. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Frank has flaws and we explore mm-hmm. them and we 
Mm. We learn from them and we we move yeah. forward and that's that's yeah. life, baby. That's how mm-hmm. that's how this works. Yeah. It's great when uh, a comedic character like Frank uh, has real actual faults that actually get addressed in the story instead of yeah. faults that are played as jokes and then never yeah. addressed and never yeah. fixed in story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, this yeah. show has really good writing, so you know it's, yeah. it oh. works out. I bet the every time this I show never get really cool. Oh my goodness! I bet I, I bet, bet the, the writer of this again, show everyone. is really awesome and cool. So amazing! Well, guys, I went to true genius. college. We really, <laughs> we really need, we we really need a um, what do you call it? We really need a bingo board for these things bingo because I feel like <laughs> it's like gets off topic. Thank you, Zoom lady, flatters Jess. <laughs> I will, I will make one in Canva once I get some We could make a seven. bingo card where every square is flatter, Jess. Black out that bingo card and still not compliment you enough. So true. true. Tell it 100%. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. Take it and double it and give it to the next person. Double, double. double it and double give it back it. to the same person. And yeah, do double it and give it to Jess do again. It again. Do it again, I'm gonna but twice. Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Everybody die. get in the comments and say double it and give it to Jess. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Brennan. If you do that, I'll tuck you in the bed. Good night. Give you a little kiss on the forehead. One day the world will know my genius. One day. Every day the world knows your genius. Because every day you are in this world. Oh my god. And the world will know. (laughs) I missed something. I missed something. I, so I, d- I couldn't think of the next line of the song, but that was enough to set Meg off, apparently. <laughs> cut off so abruptly, and the world will know. Because I couldn't think of the next line. <laughs> I so, think Meg couldn't stop reference. there. Was, no, it's for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's like almost Lynn Manuel Miranda. Yes. And the world's so gonna, gonna know. know your name. <laughs> What's your name, man? <laughs> the main kid uh, from Tim, Newsies, I dude. I forgot <laughs> his name. <laughs> Jack <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> we are Jack oh, Kelly, the oh. orphan boy. This I am really Jack Jason's... Kelly, the orphan boy. <laughs> this is really not He's the from Brooklyn. To be joking this way. <laughs> He's from Brooklyn. I don't know. Where does he say you gotta live and die here? I'm 17. Life is terrible. It's 1930 or whatever. It's It's 1899. What year is it? (laughs) It's it's either 1899 or 1900 because that's when the new voice strike happened. I wasn't there. How would I know? I don't know, man. Read a book. (laughs) Go fly Benjamin Franklin style. (laughs) <laughs> Speaking of books, Orville reads those. So Let's talk about that. Meg, Meg, I love you, man. Before we were recording, no one oh, has ever. Ever. <laughs> well, How about how That's about that library? That Orville, the library, that the Orville, library yeah. where Frank oh. Lyons is talking. No, okay. Oh. Well, I mean, talk- let's talk about Orville a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, let's talk about is, Orville. I think this is fun. I, I liked writing the opening scene here where, like, Orville, you kind of see Orville's day, like a tiny glimpse of, like, Orville's day, which is mm-hmm. pretty much just wake up, be apathetic, read, mm. maybe work if called upon. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's life. That's the dream called upon. That's the dream. Yeah. No. Wake well, they're always on call. call. They kind of just the whole idea is they kind of just work whenever they're Women called. today. So they have am no right? self work schedule. What? <laughs> what? All they know that is be the apathetic, be eat apathetic. hot chip. <laughs> be bisexual. And read. Be bisexual <laughs> and read. <laughs> this is the secret third character. You've got Frank, you've got Orville, and then whoever that was, Chad. I'd... He's coming and in later Chad, in the season. I thought, listen, is that not, no, is that that was, not the listen, party guy? That, that was Fraticus. He's got some <laughs> bad opinions, but so right. I Fraticus. think when he, <laughs> if he grows up and matures a little bit, I think he could be a stand-up citizen. He's just got some yeah. toxic things to unlearn. Yeah. I think I can some fix toxic it, masculinity you know? to unpack. Yeah, yeah, I mean, his name is yeah. Fraticus. That's not doing him any favors. Yeah. That's his. That's his legal that's name. That's his God-given name. <laughs> that shit's on his ID. He was christened as Fraticus. Thank you so He's much got- for now putting me in a position where I have to make that canon. 
Yeah. <laughs> you almost <laughs> retcon it. That's like, what Theo's this is all liar. for, baby. <laughs> uh, Radicus right. will have his episode. You just wait. <laughs> Season <laughs> five, it's coming at you. You can veto things. You can do that. You yeah, you can just ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just some asshole who's just talking. <laughs> You don't like have to. People can have their head cannons oh, all day long. That's, I don't write this. I him. don't write this show. I've never demanded a writer credit. And yeah. speaking of head cannons, boy, do we have one in this party. Their name. Uh, is old. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say, like, I, I think it's fun to kind of see, um, um, what do you call it? People's, Ugh. uh, like percep. I mean, not really perceptions of Orville, but you, you know how how people interact with yeah. him a little bit and how he feels like he needs to interact with people, especially in a situation where, what do you call it, one of the best lines from the freaking episode, uh, I had feelings and now I can't make it stop. <laughs> that was there, so buddy. What yeah. I know, I, I, when I wrote that, when I wrote that line, I was like, me too, me too, bud. <laughs> me too, um, too. <laughs> I'm so sorry, baby. Uh, I'm like, and him just being like, this is, this is like just the internalized, just like absolute fear of himself. Just like, oh, buddy, Ooh. screaming with your eyes. Yeah, but at least we get a ship out of it. I mean, we yeah. had. A, I mean, we had a ship, but now it's like fully on the sail. ocean. Yeah, watch it disappear <laughs> over the horizon. Mm. Oh, the horizon. Hells, beautiful. Yeah. Is is mm. so good. Yeah, I. I always talk about my little sister, but the she was um, completely ecstatic when it was. It was just kind of like the prophecy has been fulfilled, and I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> very much. They're very, they're very cute. They're very, very. Cute. They are. They're very cute. They're very different. They're very cute. It works. It was very interesting playing Orville with emotions, uh, because he still had to sound like Orville, yeah. and he still. It it wasn't like he was intentionally being emotional. No. This was fully like again, and so it's a, it's a weird tightrope walk of like he's emotional, but he's not like really emotional. He's no, he's still man. consciously trying to suppress things, but it's just hard. Not yeah, so, it just got real hard for him all of a sudden. It just got real hard. And so it was yeah. very. I I think oh, what was the, what was the line, the the really sweet line where he's like Frank's like what's going on here? And he's like. Only the best day ever. And I was like, that's yeah, so sweet. only the best day that's of so my life. <laughs> Which is like the most, I feel like that's the most Ginny thing Orville will ever say. <laughs> oh, it absolutely in is. Front that's of a Ginny. very Ginny thing. Yeah, yeah so like, it's infectious. <laughs> um, optimism, it's infectious. Yeah. She fired him. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there was, no. I can't remember if we had talked about this, but there was a joke. Of, like, yes, uh, I know what you're going to say. Do it. Just say it. Where it was like, Ginny's vampirism isn't spreading like being a vampire, it's spreading being Ginny. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. real. That's right. Honestly, Fair. that's yeah. a better yeah. thing to spread. Yeah. yeah. And Her optimism mm -hmm. and happiness. It's a very monkey it's a very monkey D Luffy way of spreading stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Man. Listen, yeah, you know, if you're, you're right. You're if you're a One right. Piece fan, you're agreeing with me. If you're not, you're confused. <laughs> power of friendship yeah you know just yeah. you can be unconfused if you read one piece i don't know what to tell you <laughs> I, don't I don't have the, the time in my there's life. so many adaptations now yeah. either current or upcoming Listen, i mean hey as, you can always hop on the new started, netflix anime when that happens as somebody who has started his one piece journey much like one piece will teach you it's not about getting to the end mm. and you finally learned it's about enjoying it's about enjoying the journey yeah i'm proud of you buddy Maybe the real One Piece was the friends we made along the way. Hell yeah. But yeah. the One Piece <laughs> being my friends, dude? Hell, Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So uh, I, I do, I wish that uh, Maria honestly um, suffered greatly with me this past weekend at what was honestly a really fun convention and is not here to talk more about Jenny, but I'm sure we will have many other opportunities, but I can say that Jenny just being so concerned for Orville through all of this was also, I I, I liked writing that quite a bit too. Mm -hmm. um, like just starting with kind of, I mean, we can talk about that throughout all these episodes, but in this first episode, just her constantly being like, where's Orville? Is he okay? And then just the <laughs> sequence of Jack and Algie doing the most ridiculous Jane <laughs> flies. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god i had so much fun recording that segment i i could tell <laughs> honestly Just the most unhinged algae has ever been you and, and that's you, saying yeah. something it man. really <laughs> is oh my god oh, i mean yeah. i feel like it's the most unhinged we've had algae be on camera effectively okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, because usually Aldi's brand of insanity still has some kind of like it's usually him being cowardly in some respect, which, mm. you know, trying to protect yourself does have some merits, but like no. or some logic behind it. But this was just him being like, I'm somehow really good at lying. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just mm -hmm. it. It's just like hey, in spite of no matter how, yeah, no matter how ridiculous the lie is, he's just there's just something mm -hmm. about him. <laughs> It's also Jenny, and Jenny's not Jenny's not the most gullible person on the planet, but Jenny is one of those people who will give someone the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, yeah. she's she's a trusting yeah. person. She's, yeah. yeah, especially for like for her friend, like she knows. Yeah, mm -hmm. algae's algae, but like, yeah, hopefully he's not lying. Yeah, algae's also kind of from the school of lying that I'm from, where it's like I don't need to like convince you; I just need to make you still question what the hell is going on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hundred percent. That's that's algae logic right there. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think algae when he's at, like, I actually think algae at like his most clever is him just being chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just absolute chaos. Let no yeah. one expect you next move. You what is not even happening. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just you know me, and now I've gotten into the habit of just cruising through the script and like anything that's like real uh noteworthy to me i i also um like talking circling back to the orville trying to handle his own emotions i i do also very enjoy his exchange with miriam like again how everyone treats mm -hmm. this situation is pretty different mm -hmm. like yeah algae immediately says something like orville's gonna blow this whole place up not helpful in his usual algae way no. yeah like yeah Miriam and Carlton, I think, both take the very, like, callous professional approach to it with Carlton's mm -hmm. extra little bit of, I get to punch something. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was right there. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it to be come out that way. Is that, that I hell get yeah, but it to did. punch hell something, yeah. dude? Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm insecure in my masculinity and I get to punch something, dude? Hell, hell, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Average Carlton. Average Carlton. <laughs> yep. So like you can see that Frank just constantly being like everything's fine, everything's fine. We're gonna, ha I'm gonna help, mm -hmm. even spite of things obviously uh -huh, like uh -huh. going out of control, you know. And uh, I just when I think about like Orville first interacting with Miriam, just the bit where he straight up levitates so high he smacks his head on the ceiling, and mm -hmm. like that bit was also like one that I think it was honestly one of the first bits I wrote of the episode because I was just like, <laughs> okay, who would whose like reaction would I really want to see at Orville at like one of his most stressed moments and mm -hmm. I was like oh yeah Miriam so like especially because we get in the scene before which how could I forget the iconic um breakfast scene starring Benji oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> right Meg that's why you're here um, that's <laughs> That's why um, I'm here. For the breakfast <laughs> It's not my fantastic personality and this blue room that I'm always in. I get it. I wow, the blue room. <laughs> the blue Ooh. room. This isn't even Is my room. That's like it's like baby boy blue. <laughs> it, yeah. This should be. I wish my room was this color. It's a it's nice delightful. color. It's so soothing. Isn't get the nice? buckets, bro. Blue rooms are great. But I um. Yeah, like in the scene before with that breakfast scene, you kind of have that tense moment between Miriam and Orville, which will get explained a little bit more in future episodes, but just them having a very intense moment where it seems like Miriam really wants to, like, you know, freaking like just like go after him just completely like lay into him like oh my gosh I like because he's just given her attitude and she's not about it, but um. The, and then Orville actually being kind of upset by that situation. Uh, I think, yeah, that was definitely interesting to write that bit and then have it change very quickly to Miriam being, I think, her version of sympathetic. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and just while we're 
Um, I'm going to say that we finish wrapping up this first part, which I think is the longest of the episodes. So it makes sense. We'd spend so much mm-hmm. time on it. But yeah, and I... so much time on it and not being distracted by anything else. Of course oh, not. Sure. 100%. Yeah. What do you think we are? We're professional, professional discussion on Incredibly. Yeah, the first episode. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So I, I I do enjoy the bit where uh, Orville's mind reading goes a little bit out of control and we all get to hear various things from <laughs> various, things. various things. And it's just Miriam and Carlton somehow both freaking out about Miriam's relationship with Dulcie um, for yeah. very different reasons. Yeah. yeah. Specifically, Carlton's slightly different than you might be expecting. Mm -hmm. where he's kind of just it's more just like how dare you steal my pi it's like (laughs) damn it prior Um, Mm -hmm. yeah that's the damn it prior you're screwing up our work-life balance (laughs) priorities Uh, priorities yes um and then just (laughs) and then just benji and rachel being all possessive about the cereal just... I think I am constantly like in my mind. I'm like, there is there is no logical basis for dibs. No, I, <laughs> there isn't. No, no. There isn't. I think literally, it's I'm... entirely illogical. Yes, yeah, it's but just it's emotional. I, uh, mm-hmm. And honestly, as somebody who studied psychology, I should follow that more. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. There you go. There's, There's an emotional PhD thesis. Thank you. I'm... Yes, no logical basis. Uh, the, for dibs. the basis of the emotional logical basis of dibs. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Thank you. I mean, that sounds like a PowerPoint I'd watch. I'd read that yeah. book. Yeah, I'll read that parallel. I will. I will get right on that. Yeah. <laughs> Next, wildly abandoned. Meg will yes. come back, and he yes. will have a PhD. So I guess. yes. There we go. Doctor Meg. Meg. Degree for Do- <laughs> please, please. Doctor Meg. Doctor Meg. Sorry, I was thinking Doctor. Okay, I was just thinking about the movie The Meg with you know the megalodon shark earlier. Yeah. So I'm just like Doctor. With Jason the Meg. Statham. Yeah. Jason Statham. Are you a doctor, Meg? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let me fight this shark, Meg. That's, or just the plot of the Meg 3 is that the Meg back. has achieved the PA. That's my really good Jason Statham impression. I don't know what that, that man really sounds good. like. So that, that, that is that He is sounds like that, sounds apparently. Like, yeah. Sounds like that, yeah. Yeah, no. I just gotta... I mean, that's exactly yeah. what he said. That's right. He's got a little bit of a Yeah, yeah. That's that's Jason Statham. I was yeah. in the Fast and Furious. Oh yeah, shit! You were... Too fat. Too Jason. Too Statham. <laughs> too Jason. Too... <laughs> too Jason. Too Statham. I was also oh, in the movie Snatch. Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. I was in like The Bodyguard. I think I can't remember if that was the name of the movie or not. <laughs> oh my gosh! He's been yeah. in a lot of movies. Yeah. Um. So wrapping up this portion of the discussion, I just think yeah. that we should talk about that 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 last that last big scene where you know everything goes to hell and not in the hell yeah way, no, mm-hmm. in the in the scary. Oh, uh, you know, I you know kind. it. Things happened. <laughs> yeah. Things happened. You know, you know every Frank day. getting upset and possibly destroying some local property. Hell no, dude. How? How? Frank or oh, wait. How about... <laughs> Either way. I mean, listen. both of them, both of them caused both it them... in some way. Yeah. Don't we all have psychotic, a little bit of psychotic breaks where we start telekinetically throwing our friends around the room? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, normal, right? you know but like, what am I supposed to do about that? I, I didn't when I was younger, but I went very method for this episode. Oh. <laughs> and thank mm. God for that. No, yeah, we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. I remember that time that I also did that. Yeah, and then just the best part about that is that it's it, it's accurate for you because your brain is yours, so you would throw yourself with yeah. your own yeah. brain. You know, yeah. yeah, you really would. Even like, um, man, yeah. even you know that Orville had no control of it. If even even Ginny, newly acquired newly acquired romantic partner Ginny, still <laughs> also got no yeah. Work. Yeah. emotional emotional repression it is bad and yeah. it mm-hmm. the mm, backlash for it the backlash for it will hurt other people so yes. mm-hmm. emotional constipation yes. will lead to emotional diarrhea mm. and it will be violent and you don't want to <laughs> shit on your friends yeah that's yucky boom mic so drop true. end of episodes okay good night yes good night, fantastic <laughs> so, yes, so uh awesome. that being said should we start 
a new call and yeah. take, and take a little, That's take a good a little trip into take That's a little a trip cut. into uh, right Orville's, <laughs> Orville's mindscape for the next yeah. bit. Yeah, for the that'll be real so good. We'll just let it slide. I'm, uh, we're just gonna go on a little uh, drop. Uh, we're just uh, we're gonna go. Hell <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, Zoom lady. Zoom lady? Zoom lady? Let, oh, I already did that. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, we're back from <laughs> wiping. Hell yeah, Zoom lady. It's the same joke yeah, twice lady. in a row. I tried yeah. to mix it up. Hell yeah, Zoom lady. Um, all right. Yeah, we back. You got my back, Meg. I appreciate you. Yeah. I am just just trying to be in to try to have some kind of control over this and i don't know why i try i'm sorry <laughs> no 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 it's totally good this is why it's fun uh but yeah we um we're picking up with uh kind of the next portion i guess of this arc which is yeah we're just fully in the mindscape now which is where we we finally get to see Lil orville Yay! Oh, baby orville what a yes. cute baby orville so impressive <laughs> i i is that a baby Orville? Or is it another shark? <laughs> oh, no. like baby Orville, do 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 baby Orville, no, little schmooby. Uh, yeah, that was like service. Um, <laughs> major, major, like kudos <laughs> to you, um, <laughs> Emily, for uh. Those uh those little Orville uh monologues essentially oh, at yeah. the beginning. Um what a time. I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. <laughs> it was great. It was fabulous. I, yeah. Whenever I write somebody a monologue, I'm like, they can handle this. <laughs> well, I'm glad you thought so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean hey, I, you, I pro gotta... you proved her right. Yeah. I mean, I got a taste of my own medicine with the 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 fast paced Martin bit in the first few episodes. Everyone gets a taste at some point. Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, these were particularly fun though, because usually with monologues, it's like really intense and deep, mm -hmm. and you have to keep up the energy. Whereas this one, it was a hundred percent just like little kid ranting. I was like, cool, yeah. I can do that. That, that yeah, we got. yeah, yeah, fully. It's like his like his like yeah rambles i guess are somehow coherent and incoherent at the same time yeah <laughs> there's bits of logic in there which is so I... funny because frank in the whole show also has a lot of Those. incoherent coherent rambles yeah. as yeah. well <laughs> yeah and so it's a weird sort of like kid orville mm -hmm. is similar to frank in a lot of ways mm -hmm. which i think is such an interesting angle because it's yeah. like hey these two people could actually be very good friends. They just present very differently in the world. Yeah, yep. yeah, for sure. Mm, for sure. Yeah, 100%. And I think that I, I, I do really enjoy the, um, what is it? Again, the when Carlton first goes, just like, Orville didn't happen to talk a lot, like, as a kid. And he was just like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why? What, yeah, what's, why? What's the yeah. issue here? What's the issue here? <laughs> why, yeah. why would you bring up such a random question? Yeah. <laughs> So, Little yeah, no, chatterbox. It, yeah, and I do think that <laughs> it, it's kind of like I, I I crack the joke about myself all the time, where I was very just like not like verbal as a kid, just like was very quiet. Like noises were more likely to come out of me than words, and I'm like, I and now I feel like I make up for that just talking nonstop as an adult. And I was like, let's just do the, yeah, the inverse of that. <laughs> just like, kid got hit by the world real hard, or at least his reality got hit him real hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, you know, I, I think that there's still something to be said about just like the energy and that Orville still has that potential in there. And specifically, I mean, we're not, we're not spoiling, spoil yeah, spoiling or spoiling. I don't know. We're not spoiling anything at this point because spoiling, every you're spoiling everything <laughs> because <laughs> everything's going to be out at this point. But yeah, the, the the like reveal, I guess that specifically it just is the core of Orville's personality. Mm -hmm. It's just his absolute innermost self is just mm -hmm. this kid who is both incredibly energetic and inquisitive and precocious, but also one hundred percent scared is just mm -hmm. yeah orville's orville's got a lot of feelings orville's, and it's orville's just fascinated yeah. by the world and scared yeah 
about it. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. Aren't we all? Well, so, that, yeah. I love that scene so, where it was the like, oh, mm-hmm. so this is a kid's bedroom. Yeah. This is yeah. his <laughs> innermost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not yeah. just a little kid, are you? It's like, okay. no. No. You caught up. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. on the same page now. Yeah, exactly. And it's it, it it's interesting what I I kind of was it was hard because I was like, because of that reveal that I knew I really wanted to happen, it was it was hard to like plot out just how much Orville, like we'll just say little Orville for all intents and purposes, and not to confuse with I guess Orville Prime. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it it's like what like little Orville is willing to like reveal and at what time and how gradually and like he mm. he he tends to stick to very superficial things, even leaning into like the inner child's bit because he's not comfortable with explaining things at that point, and he's I feel like he's kind of just hiding from himself and from uh everyone else at that moment he's just like a yeah because he's just having just like this internal crisis so yeah it's it, it it's is kind of like a masking almost but in a different way it's mm-hmm. it's it's a, where's the the freaking everything's fine fine meme that's a million years old now mm-hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah he's just like let me just focus on the, the 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 positive core parts of myself which then of course only lasts so long and caves in really quick quickly both figuratively and literally towards the end there with all of those like uh you know those like weird psychic waves or whatever they are cutting mm-hmm. through mm-hmm. um just because it's yeah. clearly not working out it's I mean, it's I, a very it's a very good external depiction of what is an internal yeah. crisis mm-hmm. and I do really like how eventually, towards the end of the arc, it kind of becomes uh, a sort of literal depiction of like healing your inner child, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is very important for everybody <laughs> to do. Uh, do, yep. do things to heal your inner child. More than and ever, man. <clears throat> or- Orville getting that sort of like affirmation from the people he is genuinely closest to Mm-hmm. Um, was definitely mm-hmm. some healing that needed to happen and was yeah. mm-hmm. great. Yeah. I think well, that... to do it in such yeah. a like vulnerable way. If, like They're mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. in his mind and he's done yeah. all he can still while they're in his mind to shield and mask. And yeah. it's like, we got to get out of this together because yeah. there's no other way. So let's figure yeah. it out. Yeah, and I think... The, I think what really brought him to that was kind of the back to back of his argument with Frank, where he just that argument was just him saying everything he was trying to say to Frank in the previous episodes. Yeah, and it yep. was so well done. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, Incredible. Thank you. But yeah, the writing I'd... of it and then being able to do it with you, Dio, like that back mm. and forth was so mm. much fun. And like, yeah, oh. yeah, oh, that was great. it's. Yeah, I I I just felt like I've I I talk about it all the time. Just a lot of what I write just comes from being in those positions myself. Where and Orville's very much position in the beginning of this arc with Frank, where you're trying to say something, you're trying to explain, and you're trying to set your boundaries. You're trying to explain what you want from a relationship with someone and how you are feeling and where your mind is at and just sometimes people are so in their own headspace that you just feel like you're being steamrolled over and just that builds and builds and builds and builds but then when you let it go that like catharsis like what you everything you meant to say when it finally does come out while it can be destructive there's also it also does lead to healing so Mm -hmm. i think so that exchange that they have back and forth, like he finally lets it go. And I think Frank, obviously it gets through to Frank quite a bit as well. Cause Frank has had this like selective hearing, like sort of selfish streak for a while. There's a few times where people call him out on this as far back as like the ghost fish episodes. Yeah. Um, where Ginny is like, stop trying to keep Elliot from <laughs> crushing on Eliza because you want mm-hmm. him to be your best buddy. Like he's, mm-hmm. 
so like i i think and i think that you know nobody is nobody you know gets that you know flaw like no flaw physics fixes itself in one go so i'm sure frank yeah. will make many other <laughs> many other you know like superficial selfish moves in the future but maybe it'll be in a different way or with a different kind of awareness and i think that that was good and then going back to orville him then having that conversation then also talking to Ginny and having i think the things he wanted to also kind of say to her where he was hiding from her previously it all just comes together and it's just real and i also remember writing the scene and like this is also super weird because they're in a relationship this is also like orville's inner voice that's essentially a child and i'm like how do i make this not weird <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> but i was like they're not they're not talking in that conversation as like romantic interests they're just talking as two people who got to know each other as friends first and are just mm -hmm. there for each other because heinous investigations has already within essentially i don't even think we've hit a year in the timeline yet has just all bonded wow. over all these things very quickly so yeah i mean the end of mm -hmm. season one was six months right yep. so, yeah and end of season two will be another yeah. six yep no yeah, and, and I mean, I think, I think your your writing in that scene was actually pretty spot on because if you just think about like the symbolism of it as well, of this is Ginny talking to the innermost and most vulnerable version of Orville, mm. and I, at least in my own experience, if mm -hmm. you're with someone that you have a very intimate relationship with, whether that is mm -hmm. a romantic partner or just a really close friend, when they show you that level of vulnerability, it is it is a different dynamic than whatever your usual dynamic with them is mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. inherently because they're showing a part of themselves that is mm -hmm. um, personal and yes. sensitive and one that they don't show everyone else. And so mm -hmm. the fact that that dynamic between Ginny mm -hmm. and little Orville is different mm -hmm. is essentially mm -hmm. what that is like. Yeah. And I want to add on to that too, that Orville describes some of the innermost selves that he can see of the other investigators. And a thing that he does comment is that Ginny's Ginny is basically the same right down to the core. And yeah. so in a way it is almost like their innermost selves are both engaging with each other just because mm -hmm. Ginny is that way. So they're Ginny really... is a very barriers down person, which yes. I, I think at least as the as the performer is one of the reasons that Orville is has always been so drawn to Ginny because oh, yeah. he he was able to recognize that immediately that she's someone that doesn't put up barriers that doesn't put on facades mm -hmm. that yeah. is never hiding things from people. Yeah. Exactly. She is a very so genuine very, person. It's... It's a very admirable quality uh, mm, and sometimes yes. a little annoying, but <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. She... But a great a, a great quality to have in in someone absolutely yeah uh so i i think that that definitely wow guys that definitely touches on a lot of the deeper parts of this episode so we did it well, let's talk about mind shenanigans yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let's talk yeah, about we, the funny we got serious yeah. so quickly we did but it was very good it was very good it was yeah <laughs> that, that was all so like, hard to not in this episode though like yeah. it's yeah. still very fun Real. Stuff. oh we're doing quirky things and the yeah. mindscape is this kooky but, place but like but also when you mm -hmm. start actually looking it's like mm -hmm. oh oh mm -hmm. this is a broken child who just oh. needs a hug yeah these people are all sorts of messed up like, it's in very different ways this mm -hmm. as, yeah. as a as a massive pokemon fan i if if anyone else is or is not sorry this might be completely lost on you the going to Orville's innermost self and revealing that it's a child's bedroom always makes me think of in Pokemon Black and White when Team Plasma's castle like comes out of the sky and like latches itself onto the Pokemon League and you, your like main rival essentially, N, is revealed to be the leader of Team Plasma and then you go into the castle and you find his like childhood bedroom in the middle of this cold, unfeeling castle and it's like, yeah. oh yeah. This dude was essentially like groomed to be an evil mastermind by the real evil mastermind yeah. in a castle full of people who were just like evil henchmen. Yeah. This this is a hurt person. Yeah. Um. So it has it had a lot of shades of that that I was like, ooh, that's really, yeah, that's something. Yeah. 
Yeah, I Especially hope that... Especially in such know. a, like, kooky, mm-hmm. fun... Yeah, as, as per usual. ...as we have. Like, yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's our vibe. We're Scooby-Doo mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah. Just, like, yeah. it was refreshing to be like, oh, yeah, there can be character growth. And, I mean, I, yeah. I think that's been a theme throughout the podcast as well. Is yeah. I, things it, can it, change, it, things can adapt. Yeah, and I said that in the first season, like, it was hard to do as much character development as I would have wanted because there was so much exposition in the way. But I still, mm-hmm. like, there were still some bits. Like, I think, um, you know, like I, I always say that Miriam and Carlton got a lot of development and focus in the first season because they're mm-hmm. perspective characters in a lot of ways. And the like, Miriam's relationship with Rachel and... um like, I think it's one thing that comes up quite a bit. We get a few of actually of Jack and Algie's relationship pretty up front. I think part of that was because um, while they um, are an interesting dynamic, they're also very silly. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. communicating that amidst all of the, I feel like their episodes were somehow both character development for them, but also filler. So interesting. Um, I don't know how that's possible, but, you know, here we are. But I think season two, like so far, I feel like we've gotten Martin has gotten some more spotlight and development. Then it was Frank, then it's Orville. And next up is Elliot. So get ready for that Ooh. talk back because I got Whoa, a lot to say. Peaky. Mm-hmm. So it's just nonstop. <laughs> and uh, season three will have even more of that for everybody. And um, <laughs> it's just going to keep on going. But yeah, mind shenanigans. <laughs> Uh, cause also we get to see a little bit, not just how Orville sees himself, but how Orville sees everybody else. I and, loved uh, that scene very, so it's a, much. It's a, a time. great scene. Miriam <laughs> sassing herself. It's like, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. That's what he sees when he sees her. She just sasses everyone. So he's just kind of like, yeah, that's just oh, it. Just yeah. She just sasses everybody. And I do, I do love so much how he's just quantified Carlton's tendency to just rage. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to, I like to think that the, a short temper. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like to think that um, like that's what Orville sees in his mind whenever he has like an interaction with Carlton, where he's kind of just like, okay, what level is he at? And do I want to pursue? Yeah. This, do I want to pursue this conversation? <laughs> yeah. Just imagining the thermometer, like, mm, yeah, all right, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is your badness level. <laughs> this is your misogyny <laughs> level. <No. laughs> he's coloring you're it the in. That's in the little Orville inside his brain is just like, yeah. And he's shaking his head mm, in disappointment, so we know that he doesn't approve of it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yep. So I, uh, oh my god, but yeah, I, I think that's good. Obviously, the the Jack analogy bit is was way too easy to write, unfortunately. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> I love anytime so I get to use my like wrestling slash monster truck announcer voice. Yes. Yeah, it was that good. Was, yes. It was, that was really yeah. good. Listening I just back remember... to that and hearing like the freaking guitars yeah. in the background. I remember oh, messaging. It was so good. I remember leaving a comment for Owen for the sound effects specifically. And I was just like, how close can you get to the John Cena entrance music? Hell yeah. John Cena, his entrance music? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah! Well, I, just, yeah. I remember cackling at the like weighing in at the amount you would expect, and then the <laughs> 160 pounds of cynicism and family guilt. I was like, <laughs> me <that's> so accurate. I put in the Discord chat for the people who work on this podcast. I think when that episode came out, uh, I put like that's just a description of me. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, so like good. oh my goodness yep so i i mean and also just the the freaking the freaking most unenthusiastic fight in the world that followed as well <laughs> yes yeah. so, yeah. so oh, it was good. so good and then just like having all, all of that yeah <laughs> it was yeah it truly i was just i i that was another one where i told owen i was just like go nuts and do it for about this long and then just let it fade out into the background <laughs> just like just 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 let it just let it ride they know what they're doing <laughs> um 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So just that that level of chaos, and then and then all of that happens, and then we just get like the sweet little the sweet little Ginny flowers, mm-hmm. and she yeah. and I I when I first listened to it, I told Maria that I lost it at the when she when Ginny just goes, it's so sweet, and then just immediately, but I don't get it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. And then, he, and then she finds out in a little exchange later that it's like a little mm-hmm. spelling thing. It's a little picture. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's so got. Cute. Yeah. Because he wants to. He wants to to talk to the <laughs> to the, the the fascinating the fascinating lady. <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? I Don't mean, we all. God damn. So true. Yeah. <laughs> fascinating ladies. <laughs> so. Yeah. Fascinating ladies. Never mind. No. I was gonna make a joke about about boring women, but I was like, "That's a weird, that's a weird joke to make." That's a line. That's that's a line. I'm shaking baby. my head. So you, yeah, <laughs> shaking our head so you know we don't approve. No. <laughs> I um. Sorry, boring the verb, not the adjective. <laughs> Syntax. Thank you for the clarification. Thank you. Uh, yep. yep. Oh. Yep, there you go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Thanks, so, <laughs> there's also <laughs> we can cut that, right? <laughs> we can cut that. We can go back. It's all good. No. Just, like, can... This is who we are, guys. There we go. <laughs> you send me that so I can gif my reaction. So you know, <laughs> two people, but I don't get something. <laughs> Just look. All right. So. I, I I also just want to. I think the other only other crazy uh, experience they have is the uh, the secret sanctum with all the secret doors full of secrets. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. And that's uh, we get some more Miriam drama. I managed to sneak that in to this arc that was mostly focused on Orphan Ginny and Frank. <laughs> Man, um, I hope this thing doesn't come to a head sometime soon. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the Mandalorian music. Yeah, the Mandalorian. <laughs> that felt appropriate. That it feels did. very it mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, like, I, man, what is it? Vocalist I... yodeling from Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing that I, the one thing I remember from the rehearsal of this episode specifically was telling whoever was in that rehearsal. I was just like, hey, yeah. So, yeah, I wonder how many people in the first season hearing that Miriam was from a cult thought it was just like some like. I don't even know some some like white yeah white supremacists like uh like Charles Manson Jones Townsy or like radical like Christian I guess like cults so you know you know the kind that get like pumped up in true tri- true crime like documentaries mm-hmm. or like if anyone would catch on that it would be fishy swims <laughs> I don't think anyone would have. And then Lena just looking at the, how I had that spelt and like the weird ass like H.P. Lovecraft esque yeah. Eldritch <laughs> language. I fully looked up how H.P. Lovecraft spelled some of his stuff, which, by the way, terrible human. But that doesn't mean mm. we can't learn things from the past and also pick up really stupid, funny spelling habits. Also, and fish and make fun of fish gods because yeah, it's let's funny. Dunk make on fun of fish. Gods. Yes, let's exactly. That's what that's I'm gonna why take we're here. your octopus gods and put them in my story full of gay people and immigrants, dude. What are you gonna fucking do gonna about fucking it? Also, dude? also I'm hooking up notice, a generator to his one of the things. Also, one of the, one of the things. Also one of the, I was say, also, one of the things Miriam does say in the first season is that the cult is racist. So I'm like, Many gee, such cases. I wonder where I got that idea. Hates. Pro- Progress Lovecraft. Lovecraft. Yeah. <laughs> Not my joke. Oh, really sarcastic OSP. <laughs> yeah. OSP. Shout out to OSP. Walk, listen to us, OSP. <laughs> OSP, be our friends. Please. I feel like Red I feel like Red and Jess would actually get along quite a bit. I would hope so. I I, you know, I would love to be friends with Red, honestly. I'm clicking as to who we're talking about. Yeah. I don't know who you're talking about, but I hope they It's become fine. Friends we're being yeah. We're being parasocial right now. Don't worry about it. I love you, whoever you're That's talking all. about. <laughs> Message me on Discord. Message me on Discord. <laughs> Talk you Letter, in here's too. my home address. I don't, I don't know who no, you are. Hang, bro. Let's chat. Meg's come really hang, just looking bro. for people he can tuck into bed. That, that's all he wants. <laughs> I'm loving, I'm affectionate, and I'm si- I'm going crazy yeah. over here. I'm going crazy. Yeah. Listen, OSP, if you're not doing anything <laughs> tomorrow, New York Pride. Yeah. No, hey, <laughs> OSP, tomorrow? OSP, New York Pride. Travel <laughs> back in East time Village. to the day we recorded this, and then... Yes. Yeah. Yes, Go to New York exactly. City tomorrow. You're right. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Oh boy. What yeah. about? Uh, I. <laughs> Sorry, what were we talking about? I don't even remember now. The oh, secret. right. Oh, oh HP right. Lovecraft, right. the cult. Lovecraft and the cult, yes. The cult of Fishy Swims and Lena just being like, how do I say, how do I pronounce this? And I, I believe it's like the Ish Swim set or something like that, but it's Fishy Swims. It's Fishy Swims. <laughs> it's fishy swims. Fishy swims. I love that. Yeah. I'm oh, like, again, I'm like, let's dunk on Lovecraft. Woo! <laughs> Um, now they I just I think back to like specifically when I was reading I think it was Call of Cthulhu and the fact that one of his like very very racist like you know character character caricature wow characters mm -hmm. that he talks about is named Castro and I just I was reading it in the laundromat and straight up cackled <laughs> everyone must have thought I was nuts <laughs> But then again, I am a little so. We're going over here. Yeah, but yeah, we All got good we got creatives some. Creatives are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we true. got it. Yeah, I mean, we got a little. Long story short, we got a little bonus Miriam trauma in with the mm -hmm. horrible trauma. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, can I, I, can I have my trauma with a side of trauma, please? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heavy on the trauma. Can I have a double if, side if, of trauma. If I get a plate, of, if I get a plate of trauma for the table, trauma, would you yes. have some? No. Mm. <laughs> I'm too. F I I couldn't eat a whole plate of trauma myself. Could you? Uh, if I give you half of the trauma, could you eat some? Meg, Meg's video Meg has just has disappeared. He has just. He said, fled "I'm the gone, <laughs> gone." <laughs> Deceased. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I'm sorry. Somebody tried was trying to come in here, and I was like, mm -mm. No, "No, no, 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 no." Watch this room in advance. <laughs> but what if they were just wanting you to put them to bed? Well, they're going to have to wait however long the rest of this is going to take because I have prior <laughs> obligation. Mm, prior I pulled out a doodle pole for Prior! Hey. <laughs> hey, I know that lady. Yeah. I'm the king of New York. Yeah. I'm the king <laughs> of King New York. Look at me. <laughs> wait and see. Yeah. I was to say, what is it? Like, uh, oh my God. How I, I, what is it? I'm trying to think Lousywood statue. <laughs> that, I know that, right? That's one of the lines, I think. Lousywood statue is definitely one of the lines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah look oh, at yeah. me. Now I'm respectable. Now I'm right at you, Lousywood statue. I don't, oh, yeah. don't, don't, don't. Okay, don't with guys. all the muckety mucks. I'm blowing my dough and going day locks. Clearly, yeah, clearly you would like... Clearly, you would prefer this version of Newsies to the original Broadway yeah. soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Someone I can, said watch I and you I can do a backflip. And now I just want a uh, part of your world in the style of Newsies. Mm. Watch and you'll see. <laughs> what you mean, <laughs> Brooklyn? <laughs> you mean yeah. the of the Brooklyn I want, Yeah, no. I want Ariel, but from Brooklyn. I want to be it's where it's the people are. From Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> as a tenor from Brooklyn, 100%. I mean, What's that's just, I mean, I think Newsies. I mean, is it Newsies? my time? <laughs> is it Newsies? When I love. <laughs> Is it Newsies part of your world just somewhere that's green from Little Shop of Horrors? Damn, you're so right for that. You're so right for that. You're so right for that. This is a meeting. We're done. We don't need to talk anymore. All right, the rest of this episode is about musical theater. Yep. Oh, no. no. Save it for no. the musical episode that we're Tom, definitely we're doing. Gonna sue me. Tom's going to tear me apart. Please, please, please. I, Twan, I'm gonna so make sure there's a to whole about this shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure there's a whole a musical episode with a whole song just for you. Just yeah. for you. Just for Twan. Just for you. Yeah. Now to focus on I mean if there was I would song. expect nothing less. Oh my god, please. Talk <laughs> singing Sondheim Patter song. I'm really People. excited for the musical episode that's gonna happen someday. Definitely mm. gonna happen yeah. one day. <laughs> Watch and you'll one see. Day <laughs> Watch and you'll one, see. One, one day more. One day more. I was just going to say, it's just one day more, but it's Newsies, but that's just what I've, and the world will know from Newsies. Yep. <laughs> <That's just Yep. laughs> they already did that. That song is in Newsies. And There's the world no... will know. So it's guys, just, the... can we say we've wrapped up the conversation part? portion of uh oh. the back portion of this and probably uh, we get to the, the chaos round traumatic episodes and round. we loved them mm -hmm. we should have like a yeah. music i love trauma, trauma. give me a trauma with a scoop of trauma <laughs> trauma with the scoop of sprinkle a little trauma on top like trauma daddy yeah mm. like what? trauma daddy like salt daddy <laughs>
Salt Bay. Salt Bay. Salt Bay. Why do I think it was Salt Daddy? <laughs> Uh, I don't why know. are you Dude, thinking of so that's my own, that would no. love that. That's my they own just, bias going in, I guess. <laughs> Happy Pride. Pride. Happy Pride. To all the daddies. To all the daddies. To all the daddies. All the daddies. <laughs> <laughs> so let's end this portion of the call, okay? Okay. Thank Hell you, yeah, Zoom, Zoom lady. We're back. A dinosaur story. Hell yeah. Zoom Hell yeah, Zoom lady. Hell yeah. Zoom Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. So we have entered the chaos portion of yeah. the call. And uh, I'm going to try to get us done on time, which will, for like the first time ever, as I always say, <laughs> bingo card, get them out. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who you're working broke, with right now? Broke, on. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to I'm not going to introduce any tangents in this segment. Narrator, are you Make sure no about promises. That? <laughs> all right well hopefully this <laughs> this two truths and a lie is oh two truths and a lie i said it <laughs> hey <laughs> chaos exactly Brown, what it is and a lie because on the we, next episode because <laughs> we have a lot of because we have a lot of like things that are revealed in this orville mindscape episode <laughs> okay do you do you just Fully, fully frozen right now, but not in the way you're thinking, people who aren't watching. It's like let it credits, go frozen. Credits roll. <laughs> credits roll. <laughs> Don't you? That's like the end of The Breakfast Club. Forget yeah. about Forget it. Forget about it. <laughs> it's already started. Great. Brooklyn. We're, started. We're doing the Two Truths and a Lie. In this edition. And uh, uh, let's see <laughs> what you guys can figure out. And I'm really curious how this will go. Uh, Tuan kind of uh, was asked these a million years ago, but I'll be really surprised if he remembers any of them. Uh, I think we should just go in order of the way I have them written. I'll put my memory. Let's do it. Back. Yeah. Okie dokie. So uh, we're going to start with algae because I think I, I put algae in almost everything that I do, like, content wise like when i'm writing stuff down mm. in the rest of the years i put it first not just because the name starts with an a but i think also just because i don't know i think he just annoyingly is in the forefront of my brain algae yeah. is um, eternal algae has a has a thing about being there so you know yeah <laughs> yeah that's true mm -hmm. it means so, it means it's, it's, it's he's working he's working so you, his magic yeah so you guys are going to be looking <laughs> for <working> the <laughs> you guys are going to be looking for the lie <laughs> in these <laughs> okay mm -hmm. Okay, so it's in a lie. So you want you're gonna want to tell me which one of these statements is a All lie. Right. Okay. Lay it on us. Going, Here we go. Going to my algae palace. Don't mind me. <laughs> so these are first the first statement. Algae has been expelled from multiple boarding schools. Then algae doesn't have a favorite food. He thinks it's too big a commitment. And <laughs> lastly, <laughs> lastly, <laughs> algae has done the Akira slide on his motorcycle. Hmm. Fuck. The you know all of those are pretty I believable mean, like, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> because i feel like i feel like algae doesn't watch anime but i feel like he watched akira as a kid and was like oh this cartoon's awesome and then someone be like that's anime be like i'm not into that nerd stuff <laughs> he just looked, like <laughs> cool motorcycle moves and that came up yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that cool yes. motorcycle yeah. moves <laughs> <laughs> and that's what came up he was like yeah yeah, it's what good. corner? That's not a corner of the internet. I don't. He's know. I definitely been kicked out of multiple boarding schools. I I am the most confident that that one's the truth. All right. So then, true or false? The second have a one's favorite a food. food. He does. Mm -hmm. It's just too much of a commitment. Too much of a that is, that is believable, but he's also believable. rich. So I feel like he might have like a favorite food that's like a rich person answer. Yeah, either that it's or he considers. Though. Booze of food and is like, that's my favorite. <laughs> that's my bad. <laughs> What's Dragon my favorite beer? An open what one. favorite food? Yeah, Derby. <laughs> Obviously. Is that your final answer? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, that's my final answer. Yeah, I think I'm locking that one in too. Yeah, everybody. The lie. We're, we're answering as a group for these. Oh, okay. Yeah, group answer. Uh, okay. <laughs> cool. Are we? Okay. Well, I guess we are now. here's the thing. If each one of us picks one of the sentences, one of us is going to be right. One of us is right. You have to have a group final answer. Correct. <laughs> have to think together. Shit. Um, okay. Yeah. Is is two our final group answer? I think two. Uh, is huddle. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's true. 
Uh, that's true. He, Damn it. He, uh, the, he hasn't been expelled from multiple boarding schools. That's the lie. Really? Because oh. as you said, he's rich. His parents just bail him out. Uh, <laughs> so he just keeps going. <laughs> they just throw money yeah. at it. Yeah, <laughs> they throw yeah, money yeah. at the problem. <laughs> yeah. Wonder what that. Your son like. keeps setting the classroom on fire. Fifty billion dollars. Never get mind. There's no problem. I'm here. sorry. We'll get a did whole you want, new class. Did you want to talk to my friend, uh, President James Cameron? <laughs> what the hell is he? I'm, assume, I'm assuming he's on the million dollar bill in Please, the heinous world. Oh, in the heinous world. Stop making me do things that could be canon. In the heinous Stop world. giving me ideas. James Cameron this is on the, off the dome, man. This is, this is my world building brain. I don't know the what director. to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. The, the director. director of Avatar. He did such a good job. They made him president. They made him president. I, nothing and is put his face on the million oh, dollar shit. bill. He nothing is unbelievable to me at this point yeah. in this country. Nothing is unbelievable to me. He will, Listen, honestly, when it comes to Avatar, the president minor, James Cameron. Minor tangent. I he will never forgive Avatar because my dad gathered me and all of uh, all of us into the room on the Super Bowl uh day that they were like here's a trailer for avatar and dad was like oh you guys you guys your favorite show it's getting a movie and gathered us all into the room and then we went oh, oh. that's yeah. not what it was yeah. ouch it was the avatar that's last year man. your movie that's the so blue man group <laughs> this dad literally the, yeah, the saying, somehow, group somehow how is that better than like, m night oh. Shyamalan? <laughs> how is that still better yeah. oh, oh, God. God. avatar is a fine movie yeah. And M. Night Shyamalan was the president after James Cameron. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no one expected <laughs> that. What a <laughs> twist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was a write in. That was the twist. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack next. 10 million people were like, wouldn't this be a funny bit, though? <laughs> yes. And they, <laughs> and they were all right. They were all right. All right. Jack. We got Notable Jack next. Brother. Yes, we're going yeah. brothers. We're going bro roll. The first one go. is he is Algy's brother. <laughs> False. He, he is Algy's uh, brother. His brother is tea, Algernon. The T that he is five foot seven. Day. He's five All right. seven. Here we go. He's not, but here we go. Okay. First one. Jack has broken the same arm twice. Jack drives a convertible. Hmm. This last one is very interesting for you, Dio, because this is actually, I don't even remember, you asked me about this once, and I oh. told you I would never tell, but the third oh. statement is, Jack's actual name is John. Jack is a nickname. Oh. That one to... has to be true. I have Number to... three is absolutely uh, true. I, I'll never tell. I have to abstain well, from this vote. I actually do know the answer. One is a lie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jess is a big fan of the importance of being artist. Number three is absolutely true. Okay. <laughs> it is it is my true. it is Who my just favorite. Spoke to us? It's my favorite play. Now do we think Lil Jack Lil Jack fell off his beanstalk and broke his arm twice? I would know. Or do about we think that. do we think he drives Jack, a convoitable? Is this the presidential debate? You think he takes his top <laughs> off? His car top meaning. Don't twist my words. <laughs> Leave people. Oh no! Leave people. It is. Daddy, sticky little hobbits. We need... <laughs> God, I someone please, someone please, 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 because like we've we've uh it's he has a convertible because he's rich I don't know what do rich people have convertibles more money than me damn yeah I don't damn, know that says a lot about me unfortunately do you have a convertible I did once good for you uh, okay my dad had a convertible too yeah it wasn't, um, it wasn't all that nice it didn't used to it be was, a rich uh, thing my my mom listen, had one too. they no longer you can get a you listen. Listen, you can get a Volkswagen uh -oh. Beetle convertible. That's all I'm saying. Hell yeah. yeah. You don't got a Volkswagen Beetle and you can take Listen, its top off? The fun fact. Hell, yeah. hell yeah. yeah. The convertible bubble popped. Now you can get convertibles in cheaper car brands. Hell um, yeah. Hell I will yeah. Say, tomorrow. I will say I, my, I think my grandmother my in her name. 90s has a, a Volkswagen Beetle convertible. 
So she's that's cool. sick as fuck. Shout out to Nanny. That's very sick. Here's what okay. I'm thinking. Yes. I think knowing Jess as a writer, it's very silly that Jack would have broken his arm twice, considering his power set. So I think just by process of elimination of knowing that Jess is a fan of the importance of being earnest and likes silly things. That would be funny. I think the convertible is is the lie. Yeah, by that logic, I'm going to agree. All right. It is the lie. Let's go! Yes. 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 Uh, the, the two times Jack has broken his arm is... Uh, when he fell once... off the beanstalk and when he jumped over the candlestick. Obviously. Uh, it was uh, it act the first time is mentioned in season but, um, one, uh, actually, uh, hmm. during the Invisible Man arc. He mentions that uh, Algy got a got a mini bike one birthday or Christmas or something, and uh, bet Jack he couldn't ride it. Jack, oh, right. and accidentally drove it and or rode it into the front of their building and broke his arm. And oh. the second time was falling off of a statue because Algy had gotten stuck up there, and Jack was trying to get him down. I thought way too hard about their lore, guys. About all their lore. These are your little babies. These are your brain babies. And Jack does not. Jack does not drive a convertible. He drives a pickup truck. Oh, because he's just like how it feels. He's like flatbed, extended cab. What are we talking? (laughs) I'm Dooley. Flatbed. A flatbed truck. (laughs) I know. I was hoping I could move past it, but I couldn't. (laughs) Everybody get on that bed. Flat, oh, flat bed. bed. Oh, I didn't hear. I didn't hear it. I heard flat bed. You're good. I, I said we flat bread, about. and then it, everyone else was talking. So I was like, maybe I can slip in flat flat bed. It, it'll be correct. No, you're not getting anything past me. Swan gotcha. Swan gotcha. <laughs> what kind of truck is it? Um, uh, you know, honestly, the when, Ford I envi- F-150. Uh, when I envisioned the new it in Ford F one fifty, new Ford F one fifty. To be honest with you, when I don't really know what when I envisioned the truck in my mind, <laughs> I envisioned there was, I think it was a Ford. It was a red. <laughs> Ford. I don't think he'd have it. In Yo, there. my dad drives a red Ford. Let's go. I don't know if it'd be red though. I feel like it'd be more. Uh, it'd be a more muted color, maybe like a gray. But um, okay, gray. I, I envision my Maroon. when my uh, before my grandfather muted passed red. away, he had this red Ford pickup truck. I think it was Ford, like I said, and he always used to um, play opera in it, which Hell is just yeah. such a funny vibe for opera for in a pickup truck. truck? <laughs> Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. So that's like I was like, that's that's Jack right there. Um a hundred percent. So yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um and yeah, his yeah, you are right about the importance of being earnest. His actual name is John. Um his legal name is uh John Hudson Graham. Ooh. Fancy. Um yes. Hudson. Yes. John Hudson Graham. Yeah, Surprise. I went for Jacob Jingleheimer. He's got his, he's got his yeah. 40. His name, his name is my name, too. too. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> his what name is my <laughs> name, too. <laughs> Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, we have 15 minutes. <laughs> we have all the time in the okay. world with my best friends. 15 minutes we got through two. Uh, I really we'll go know. real quick through these last seven. We got it. 100%. It's fine. Okay, Carlton's next. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, Carlton, no, Carlton can do close-up magic. Yes. <laughs> Carlton has seen every Disney movie. No. Carlton is five ten. Yes. <laughs> is that mentioned? Um, I mean, I know everybody Carlton. Fights. No, here's the thing. Carlton gives five ten, but wears two inch insoles on his shoes. <laughs> his license <laughs> says he's True. six foot. That's his very... license says he's six foot. <laughs> it also says his eyes are like green. I don't remember what color his eyes are. Are they like hazel? They're brown. (laughs) They're brown. Brown. He says they're hazel then. Oh, so (laughs) true. Behind these hazel eyes. Um, Uh, He has not seen every Disney movie. He has seen every DreamWorks movie. Dude, he loves Shrek. I think that's true. I feel like he relates to Shrek. He He did not see Finding Nemo, but he sure did see Shark Tale. And like, honestly, real. Yeah. (laughs) That's my gut call. Yeah, that's I don't I think he's five ten. I think he's five ten. He is five ten. The Disney movie is the lie. <laughs> oh, I'm I so wanted him to this. be five seven so bad. <laughs> he's only he's only seen the Disney movies that Rachel has forced him to watch. He does not like Frozen because he's Carlton. Dude, Frozen's so good. Frozen. Yeah, it is. I listen. I got tired of a lot of like the Frozen in my face all the time, like everybody else did, yeah, because the hype. I. Yeah. 
I was like older and I wasn't like a kid, so it didn't work. But I went back and I rewatched Frozen for the first time in years, and I was like, "Damn, this movie's fucking solid." Hey, for the first time in forever. Good. It's a good movie. Yeah, for the first <laughs> time. <in> <laughs> Immediate disappointment. Oh. There's, I need these videos so I can clip me. Clip <laughs> all of your reactions. Turn them into but emojis. Yeah. But yeah, Carlton oh, is 5'10". <laughs> yeah, Carlton's 5'10". He's technically... I, I don't remember. Oh, I remember why I said technically. He's technically the fourth tallest investigator because Elliot slash Cy has two different heights depending on That's whether true. he's angel or demon. Um, Elliot comes in twink and twonk. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and uh, yeah, he can do close up magic. He's always been good sl- at sleight of hand, but thinks magic yeah, is embarrassing does. and dumb and therefore hasn't done it since he was a kid. Yeah, likely boo, thing for him to be able boo to. Boo this do. man. Boo. Yeah, everybody boo, boo him. Boo. Carlton. You'll never be the king of New York. <laughs> yeah, boo. <laughs> Poor David. Just, it, it, you know, he's a, I feel I like, David, David, can David do close up magic? I don't, I gotta wait. If somebody so could, great. I feel like he would. Mm. I started kind David, of- is, David David is one of those guys that looks like he could just pull out any random skill and he'd be like, yeah, okay. Like he yeah, probably knows how to make like balloon animals. He's just, he's yeah, so, like he he randomly so drops in conversation in that he was in a just... contact juggling competition and you were like, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, that is a very David. Yeah, that's a very David move. But yeah, not shaggy esque. Just like as yeah. if his as if his character couldn't get more of Scooby Doo or the other guy. Yeah, Scooby Doo. <laughs> the uh, guy. The R and B artist. R&B artist. <laughs> so Miriam next. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me because we... now we got because obviously Miriam's got a one up. Yes, Carlton, Miriam. So. Let's do it. Miriam. All right, Miriam knows how to bake. Mm-hmm. Miriam met Martin at a literal snipe hunt. Miriam mm-hmm. has never eaten seafood. Discuss. I. I Location I wise, I feel like I the feel last like... one. But like people, I live on an island and people I know are just like, uh uh-uh, uh, about Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think the seafood thing will be very heavily dependent on the cult she grew up in. Oh. Maybe. Do we think. It is called fish. What is it called? Like fishy (laughs) swim. Do we think. (laughs) Do we think that they would want to eat fish to get closer to their dark gods or would they refrain from eating fish because their dark gods are fish? I. That is that is that was what I was tossing. That at you. that's the that challenge. is the that is the make or break for that one. Whether that is a truth or a lie, I right. think the first one is absolutely a truth. So if the third one is true, the second one is the lie. I feel but like I the don't second know one like it. checks out too, though. I mean, but I think it does check works, out. I think the know? safest bet is three is the lie. Yeah, correct. Okay. Nice. Do you yeah. have to do this worst ever? Yeah. Uh, every other day of my life. <laughs> Miriam, the statement I wrote here. The explanation is: Wait, oh god, I'm not that. Smart. You're so humble. No, I just, I'm sorry. It just so hit humble. me. I'm so sorry. I'm so focused. Just but, locked uh, in right now. I'm I, I fucking am. around. Yeah. No, the explan the explanation for this is: Since <laughs> leaving the fish cult, she eats seafood often in order to show her dominance. Hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! <laughs> and I, fish I, food I, I, for dominance. <laughs> hell yeah! yeah. yeah. Dude, she's she's eating shrimp scampi like I'm better than you. Yeah, I'm, better than <laughs> I'm you. stronger I'm than you. I've conquered my demons. I've conquered my demons. <laughs> my face is so red right now. <laughs> Everybody else at the sushi shatter, bar she's just like, like I can do this. <laughs> but yeah, Miriam knows how to bake. Her cupcakes are phenomenal. I feel like um, that's has she done that? I feel like she's done that. Uh, no, been like, no, no, has but she's been like, like a mention of it. No, but like. I think she. I think it was a hobby that she got into whilst taking care of Rachel, yeah. and just ended up. You know, I think she likes it, but it's kind of like, um, I think you know how she is. I think in a way that Carlton is kind of gender norms. I think sometimes she's also kind of like gender norms, and is like, no, I don't do that, even though it's totally fine to do that, no matter who you are as a person. <laughs> so like, yeah, Man. um, and then yeah, the literal Miriam's a hot is- mom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no further discussion needed. But well, yeah, Miriam did meet Martin at a, at a little snipe, snipe hunt. I have a whole, oh, there's a whole freaking backstory to that. But all you really, yeah, it, it's pretty much what it says. Like Martin, Martin was kind of just like, you know, like that was really, you know, like was really impressed because Miriam obviously 
one she was just passing through town at the time she hadn't even moved yet and then martin was just like oh. hey you should stay here because you know a lot of cool stuff and you could turn that into a business and i would help you with that because i think you're cool let's be friends <laughs> and let's be friends yeah why can't we be friends um, let's be the king of new york <laughs> us together with our powers combined we can be the king of new york i mean honestly that would they would be pretty tomorrow they may wrap fishes in it but i was a star for one whole minute <laughs> should we uh fishes. should we fishes. do the 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 star of the arc uh orville yeah Shmooby yeah. McGee, yeah okay Shmooby McGee. orville is an ordained minister orville yes! is Orville is bilingual. <laughs> Orville went to Catholic school. Got two religious themed ones. Don't, don't, don't ever. He, better he didn't be go to Catholic school. Minister. He grew up Presbyterian. <laughs> he better be an ordained it minister, be though. Please, I need him to officiate my wedding so that's my. Bad. That's my answer. He was not Catholic. He was Presbyterian. I can't have him officiate my wedding. I can't marry him if that's the case. <laughs> well, I'm what not if, marrying if, him, so it's not a problem for me. What if, what, if the lie, what if the lie is Orville's actually trilingual? That's so good. He's a poly. That'd be really polygot. funny. Polygot, yeah. So yeah. what are we? What are we saying? What, what, what's I'm the final I'm off? sticking with my guns that he's Presbyterian, not Catholic. Oh, but it would yeah. be so good to just like Catholic guilt him. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, Listen, Meg, religious Meg, guilt. I'm religious hitting. guilt comes in all shapes and forms. <laughs> I'm, but I'm, I see you over there. I'm hitting stuff. It. I'm hitting <laughs> Orville with the Catholic guilt. Okay, you right know what? Now. We keep going with my <laughs> gut calls. Meg, if if you no, wanna, no, if, you're smarter than me. You're smarter than no, me. no, I'm you're not. Right. Stop. You finished <laughs> college. <laughs> All right, it was clown school, but yeah, it was clown school. It was clown <laughs> college. Uh, oh. I honestly have no, no idea what your final answer is on this. Final one. answer. He's a Southern <laughs> Baptist. Southern Baptist. That's the final. Answer. You, oh, what I said, but I like it. You, yeah, you, I like it. I feel so. <laughs> You really almost had me for a second. The lie is that he's bilingual. That's <laughs> absurd. Ah, damn it! Uh, is he, he, is he trilingual? Catholic guilt. He, Get him. He's only. What do you call it? He's not actually fluent in any languages other than English. He knows bits of a bunch of like, really those classical English, languages so and love languages like Spanish, German, Italian, damn. French, like Latin, like those kinds of languages that would be in like those very like philosophical books that he reads. But like, he's not fluent. So Confirmed. Like, that's Orville guess. is not by lingual. <laughs> lingual. <laughs> Damn. Nice. Um, but yeah, he did go to Catholic school. Uh, I honestly, Hell yeah. I honestly do think that he was probably, um, well, he says in the first season, I think that he had family that was tried as witches. So definitely, definitely Protestant in that regard. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But uh, you can still go to Catholic school even when you're some kind of Protestant. You technically don't have to. Nailing Catholic a protest Catholic. to the church door, dude? Hell, Hell yeah. 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 I love you. I love you, Lutheranism. So yeah, he, he specifically went to a Catholic high school, which as you would probably understand is not the ideal venue for someone with supernatural powers. I'm guessing it was St. John's. Was sure. That... Cool. <laughs> Um, um many, and many yeah, he's, and he and is and he that. is an ordained minister. Yes. Um, there's what a whole story that goes with that, but I don't know if we have time. So what's his confirmation name? I don't know if he, he's not Catholic. <laughs> do, do other people not have confirmation? I I'm, pretty sure, no, I'm pretty sure Methodists that's a Catholic don't. exclusive thing. I'm pretty Pentecost sure that's a Catholic don't. exclusive thing. But I do have a I have a confirmation name. What's <laughs> your confirmation name, Jeff? <laughs> Catherine with a K. Hell yeah. Catherine with a K. Catherine <laughs> spelt with a K. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. 10 minutes. <laughs> Cuz we'll press yeah. for time. Hey, we're, we we're, going, we're going. We're going. We're going. Elliot and Cy next. Presbyterian for time. All right. We're going to go. I'm going to read these backwards uh for funsies. Yeah, cuz you know. I feel like I don't want to read them in order. Just yeah, to make it extra confusing, I'm going to start shuffling them actually. Oh. You know what? Forget okay. it. You're not going to know what order I'm reading these right. in off the paper. Right. I didn't <laughs> no, you didn't, didn't know you didn't know beforehand but now i'm gonna make it extra confusing Everybody's it's the tell thing. you you don't know to be confused nah <laughs> sorry i realize it's only confusing if i'm the one looking at it. anyway yeah <laughs> okay well i'm just gonna read whatever i want okay so first statement sai loves capes next one elliot lived with mozart for a time 
Hmm. And Elliot has always needed glasses, but couldn't wear them until he was physically about eight, chronologically 400, because they hadn't been invented yet. Many such cases. He texted me. Oh. <laughs> the third one is too funny and specific to not be true. Jess could have also made that up for this thing and made it really specific and funny. To that throw is also off. true. That there sounds is like also yeah. the alternative option where there is the even more funny option of Elliot just thinks glasses are cool and does not need them. <laughs> we I ever mean, seen that these are not prescription Elliot glasses and his glasses in different rooms. That's true. We don't know if Elliot if Elliot is going to have a Velma situation or if Elliot is just like we technically mm, do. Oops. <laughs> That he technically did, but it's not. Uh, I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna say anything. Pause, pause the recording. Uh, pause the recording. Okay. Go back into the files. I think everybody pulled the scripts. Maybe, maybe. Like Kate. He didn't live with Mozart. He lived with Salieri. <laughs> we lived with Beethoven. But this man called. <laughs> um, man, I don't know. Uh. What do we what do we think size opinions on capes are? Um, I feel like that depends on his opinion of the dramatics. Because realistically, I feel like he could either be like, this is something that will just like get in the way of my tomfoolery, <laughs> or he could be like, you know. Um well, it really depends on which kind of capes you're talking about. Because if it's yeah, like superhero capes where it's where like it just, just pins the to back, the shoulder in the back, like a Mandalorian, like, or like one of the ones like that goes that, all the way that's that's one like aesthetic, but then there's also just like the one shoulder capes. Or like a full cloak. I or like, yeah, like where yeah. your mind is at. Do we have a... Can we ask? Or like what a beach. Of... A what? What is your okay. final answer? <laughs> or like the beach. Or press yeah. for time, what is your final uh, answer? Um, uh, okay. I'm free, pick number three, my lord. <laughs> pick <laughs> three. Two. Okay. I don't know, man. Uh, One um... of them. <laughs> Meg, make a make a judgment call. I'm trusting no, you. No, no, uh, don't. Um, he uh, uh uh he didn't live with uh the guy he who was it Beethoven. Mozart, Mozart, Mozart. 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 It's but Mozart. it's the Mozart from that that movie where he was blonde. Perfect. That's <laughs> the answer. Uh, Elliot did. Amadeus. Elliot did live with Mozart. <laughs> Damn. Spent a summer studying there. That's why he he plays multiple string instruments, and he was horrified by what he experienced with Mozart. He was not not from liking it. Understand? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> poor Elliot. Uh, Cy does, in fact, love capes. Nice. Uh, yeah, because uh, Cy thinks they're the perfect blend of evil and annoying, and he rocked one for as long as they were in fashion. <laughs> they're enough. still in fashion if you're not a weenie. Son. Bring it back, Cy. Don't be such a pansy. <laughs> yeah, come on, buddy. <laughs> He's very attached to the gangster, the 1920s gangster look right now. Um, with yeah, his yeah, stupid yeah. ass fedora. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a dunk. Um, but yeah, uh, Elliot has had glasses always because you know one of the advantages of having an ethereal parent with uh from a realm in my universe in this universe that has a certain amount of omniscience. Hey, it's Jesse here from the very quickly put together editing and recording space using my laptop mic. We ended up having to cut the rest of this part of the conversation for, I'm going to say, spoiler reasons, even though I'm pretty shameless with my spoilers. Anyway, let's move on to the Liza stuff. Um, <laughs> Liza didn't go to college. Liza has done community theater. Liza has won several gardening competitions. Yes, one of these is a freebie. Don't overthink it. Uh, Liza did, in fact, go to college. Good for her. Yeah, she did. There you go. You yeah, got lie okay. detected. She has an associates in botany. Yeah. 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 That's probably why she won all of those gardeners. And yeah, her uh yeah, community theater, her foster mom, yeah, her with her foster family, they did a lot of like, you know, musical rec center. No, rooms. she absolutely like she yeah. gives yeah, I've done community that's... theater vibes. Yeah, that's she true. does. Um and yeah, obviously won several gardening competitions. Woman's a gardening yeah, and competition freak. Yeah. Eliza's, for her. Eliza. Liza's powers don't Eliza. have a lot of immediate and reason. Peggy gardening. <laughs> it always uh, comes back. Greatest city in the world, New York. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at me. I'm the king of New York. 
Look at me. <laughs> Look okay. at me. Guys, we are so close. <laughs> Please. We have two okay, sorry. We'll hurry. Okay. Speed okay. round. Oh, okay. Gosh. Martin. Martin's a Red Sox <laughs> fan. Yes. Martin's, af- Martin's afraid of bad taxidermy. Yes. Martin owns exactly one t-shirt. No. He owns no. two t-shirts. <laughs> one of them's black and one of them's white. One of them's white. Yeah, exactly. He owns three. One of them's gray. Martin only owns one t-shirt. He sleeps in it. <laughs> what color is Damn. it? Damn. He's not a Red Sox fan. <laughs> He's not a Red Sox fan. He's not really a sports guy in general. <laughs> Damn. What color is figured... your t-shirt? Um, I, I, I just assume beige. it's white. I said it's white. I'm assuming, I'm assuming he has one yes. white t-shirt that he sleeps in. That's mm-hmm. my assumption. Go to Kohl's. You can find a beige t-shirt. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. Give Martin's Martin's not a sports guy. He does know about baseball though because he he watched it every weekend with his dad uh, for emotional reasons that we can't get into right now. Mm. Um, okay, mm. Ginny. Uh, Ginny drinks from blood bags because her family thinks it's cruel to hunt humans. Ginny mm-hmm. can have her photo taken. Ginny was mm-hmm. born in the late 90s. Uh, the Which photo 90s? taken one is false. Because we, we, she, there have been. Which 90s? That's a great question. I didn't think about that. Mm-hmm. I immediately the thought 1990. <laughs> yeah. Is this one is, yeah. This is 90s. Because she's definitely tricky. older than 30. Yeah. It'd be cool. She was certainly there. Um, I think she cannot have her photo taken. She can. Oh. Yeah. Unlike popular vampire myths, while Ginny can't see her reflection, she does show up on cameras. She also casts a shadow in case you were wondering. Um, yeah, if I remember correctly, the, the myths for vampires is just like the silver backing is why you can't see reflection. So that's not true. That's about. true. Yeah. All right. Uh, and yeah, Ginny was born in the late 1990s. Vampires in this universe age on what I call the indie elf logic, or I guess more specifically, I don't even think it's necessarily D and D elf logic. Now that I think about it, it, it mm-hmm. it's it's like a I guess it's like a logarithmic curve. It's like it ages normally, then kind of then slows um, down, approaches yeah, yeah, yeah. asymptote. I yeah. I took in D and D elves kind of do that, but it takes them like a hundred years before they like consider themselves adults it's a weird thing yeah yeah gotcha so like, it's a little shadow, like fun fact uh in Baldur's gate 3 shadow hearts in her like mid 40s and mm. she's a half elf so mm. astarian's like 200 something yeah oh geezer, he's the one everybody likes. geezer. <laughs> yeah. all right i always here for for duncan and astarian <laughs> Um, I love right. you, Astarian. You're a geezer. Yeah. You're a gilf. Oh. <laughs> For real? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we gotta finish this up. So yeah, um, but yeah, the, the the thing is actually about the blood bags. Ginny thinks it's cruel to hunt humans. Her family thinks it's low class. Oh, you tricked me. <laughs> yeah. You dang tricked me, because I knew she drank blood, blood bags. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we're we're heading into the what they call a rich vampire. (laughs) (laughs) I got it. Um, All right, uh, let's head into the kiddos now. Uh, (laughs) Kiddo section. (laughs) Ah, the kiddos, the little beans. The kids menu. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Menu. (laughs) Not like I'm thinking of like the little, the little freaking. It's a cookbook. It's a cookbook. (laughs) No, God, no. (laughs) Is there anything I can help you with today at this at this restaurant? Yeah, I was wondering if I could. If, I was wondering about the menu, please. <laughs> it's a TikTok. Never mind. No, forget it. Okay, sorry. sorry. Okay, I'll send it later. Put the TikTok <laughs> here. All right, guys. Boy, that sure was this. funny. I'm so sorry. Tell me about so, and Rachel. I'm so focused because I want you guys to be able to go on with. Tell your us lives. about the children. Okay. Rachel is a Gemini. Oh my God. Rachel's a Gemini. <laughs> that, that's the first statement. Rachel's, Rachel's, Rachel's a Gemini. Rachel's favorite song was written about 80 years before she was born. Mm. Rachel can play poker. She definitely can play poker. I was say, she Absolutely. most certainly can play poker. So I do really, we think, I don't I think she's to, a Gemini. I want her to be a Gemini really bad, but I don't think she's a I don't a think she is. I don't I, wait, wait, is. wait, 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 wait. Is this her sun sign or is Gemini in her? Are you saying Gemini is in her placement? Oh 
at any of those. Sunside. Sorry. Is her sunside? Okay. Sunside. Okay. okay. I don't think so. I don't think she's a Gemini. She is. But when's her birthday? Really? Damn. <laughs> June fifteenth. Her birthday's June fifteenth. Oh, June Gemini. June Gemini. Yeah, she's a June. Ge- she's a June Gemini. Mm. A June Gemini. That checks out. I'm shaking my Meg head so you disgusting. know I disapprove. He said, "Ew." Look, Rachel. Hey, Gemini. Better. <clears throat> I, mean, I have a lot of friends that are June Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I'm I can, sorry for I can get into. I can I'll get tell into, him you said so. I can get into the oh. details some other time. Um, right. But yeah, the favorite song thing. She really likes the that like old uh, Gershwin song. Let's call the whole thing off. That you like. And I like that. Great nah, nah, song. Nah. It's it's, great it's song. a it's one of those rare old songs that's not offensive. That's in the Simpsons. Um, you know. Thanks, yeah. Gershwins. Thanks, Gershwins. Um, hey. and she uh she actually can't play poker. She she thinks it's kind of pointless and prefers to make up games with her own rules. But she can and play lethal company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she she does she... I'll leave. I'll leave. <laughs> oh my gosh. How okay. do we know she wasn't one of the lethal company devs devs? She was <laughs> one of the three devs. So Benji now? Yay! Okay. My boy. Uh Benji is afraid of clowns. Benji's mm. IQ is 167. Mm. Benji has a pet rock. I I don't think we know Benji's IQ. I feel like Benji's the kind of person who would be like, eh, it's not important. I agree, but I mean IQ kind of isn't I, important. But it's fake. Yeah by the way yeah. um yeah, I, yeah. I also, fake. that's also just that's not a thing that a child will choose to get tested for uh that's yeah kind of like a parent thing so i don't think i i don't think yeah. benji was like you know it would be a cool idea we all think iqs are dumb and that's why yeah. it's false <laughs> well i mean he, the thing is is that just because he wouldn't want it doesn't mean that his parents didn't get it done but also i don't think they're that type of people to have him I don't have him IQ tested. I think when they have when you have two sons that are as uniquely intelligent as Frank and Benji, by the time Benji gets around the age where you could IQ test him, you're just like, are is this even gonna work on him? There's He's no a point genius. To it. Let's just sign the let's just pull the Marvel trick and just say he has a genius level intellect and move on. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's my thought process. Like if I, I if, that's class. my thought process as 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 our as our parents. As our parents. <laughs> You're like this one's already <laughs> weird. I'm sure that one will be weird also. Yeah. You you forget the possibility that Benji would want to test himself because Benji likes tests. It's true. Oh, oh but you know what? Oh, Benji's bad. a little stinker for that. Don't fall for it, Benji. Benji oh, Benji doesn't, doesn't. Oh, Benji and Frank don't take the know. IQ. They they both don't take it seriously. You're buying into. Benji it. just You're wanted. Into Benji it. just wanted I, I to like take to, it. I like to think to that they it. actually yeah. try to strategize the IQ test yeah, and true. try to like just game it to get the highest number. That's yeah, probably Benji's, they're playing yeah. it like a game. Okay. Yeah, hundred okay, percent. That makes that makes sense. Yeah, Benji like Benji likes mm-hmm. numbers, so he was like, "I'm gonna do this." Big I'm numbers. Say yeah. test doesn't, I like but numbers. I don't. Yeah. So- <laughs> Yeah, um, it's only really funny you say this too because like I'm planning a future episode where I'm 100 percent taking a stab at IQ. So <laughs> like, yeah, do it because yes, take a like jab be. at IQ, 100. percent But anyway, uh, that is actually true. Um, and uh, Benji also has a pet rock. Its name is Norman Rockwell. Yeah, <laughs> that's my little baby. I knew it. <laughs> and uh, Benji isn't the, the lies. Benji's not afraid of clowns, but uh, Orville is. Honestly, understandable. Interesting. <laughs> Orville's not nothing. N- nothing should I be mean, that full of whimsy or and humor. Surprise birthday party. That makes one hundred percent sense, though, no. because like no yeah. matter how you feel about clowns, their entire job is to get emotions from. Yep, them. exactly. So, uh-huh. yep, that's why that's he hates it. Just a problem for Orville. He just hates it. It's <laughs> not. It's not the. It's clown, not even. Like, it's a not, situation. It's. It's not even like a. It's not even like a like what's it called? It's not even like a phobia or like a deeper fear. It's just a general like extreme. Like he has he's discomfort. Like he has discomfort with a lot of things, but he's really (laughs) uncomfortable around clouds. No, no. Um, I think it's something he could get over, but he's just like not okay. Last one. One one left. All right. It's Frank. Who's it gonna be? Oh, he, I like that he's part of the, the children. <laughs> he is part of the children. 
<laughs> yeah. Schmooby. Yeah. Schmooby for yeah. Hank. Yeah. Schmooby. Damn. Yep. All right. Lay it on me. Let's go. I don't know what that was. It's Gary. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Frank can hold his breath for two minutes. Frank was homeschooled. Frank owns five versions of the same outfit. Discuss. I feel like two minutes isn't that long for breath holding. <laughs> like if you look what? up, not, 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 hold on. <laughs> what, do <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? If you're like, oh yeah, I can hold my breath for a really long time, and they ask you how long, you're gonna be like two minutes. Two minutes. Is I feel like you gotta like, a quarter of minutes. the record. Okay. That's a quarter. I think the record currently just... is eight minutes. Well, you said a quarter. Yeah, a quarter of the record. I can't I hold my breath for a quarter of the record. I don't know what the record is, so I here I'll show it to you. Computer in hand. Computer in hand. Hold on. Good lord. Yeah, Get I've been trying to like tips. upgrade my breath upgrade my like breath support a little bit. So, so what I'm... are we what are we thinking, guys? I It's 24 I... minutes. He 24 was, was not homeschooled. No, I don't think um he at least went to university. That's true. That's true. He at the so, went to I mean, I guess when means. you say he was homeschooled, do you mean at any point in his life he was homeschooled? I mean, I mean, uh, what do you call it? Like pre-university, like primary, secondary. Okay, because I could but see like, him being away. homeschooled until like high school. Mm. Yeah. Who can? Because I mean, like what? Because I mean, like when you're Frank, say? what? What is public school well, gonna? Because here's the thing, Ben. Benji does go to school. Yes. yes, notably Benji does go school. to school. Benji does go to school. So well, he leaves, do we well, think he leaves private school for public school? Yes. So do we think that Frank was the same, or do we think they did something different? Oh, was he in like a, 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 a gifted youngsters school? <laughs> Yo, Charles Xavier, yeah, exactly. the Xavier was, Institute. I don't know. I was like, you but know? they they do that in the you the, know the the, the that guy the <laughs> the <laughs> beans. <laughs> Where they have the cool kids, where they're smart and they're good at things. School. I don't know. I don't watch the them. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> do you hey, you know, hey. you know, it's like, I... a like a charter school. We're in New York City. We're at a charter school. Oh, <laughs> charter schools. <laughs> the death knell of the public education system. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... <laughs> He certainly has five versions of the exact same. Outfit. Yes, exact same. I don't doubt that. The only thing that I think that would make that a lie is if he had like four, or or, or like it's not exactly the same. Like the shirts are a different color or something like that. Right, mm -hmm. but I think safe the safe bet is saying that that one is a truth. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. so it's between homeschooled and holding Still breath. Holding breath. I feel like he would tout that actually. Yeah, I I'm saying the homeschool one is a lie. Yeah, I think yep, I'm done okay. with that too. And you're the guy, so. I'm the guy. What? No, 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 no. Dio's oh, the guy. Dio. <laughs> yes. I'm the guy. Okay. You're him. Frank was homeschooled. That's true. Oh. You know, Man. Like His parents thought I would died like the guy. But he, he <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a homeschooling situation where he was just smart enough to kind of teach himself. So his parents were like, yeah. he'll probably do a better job educating himself with a little bit of support from us than the American educational system. The home do. didn't school me. I schooled the home. I just, I think back to the oh, Elliot, sorry. Elliot, you, not, you didn't finish your degree. Well, like it's hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh Lord. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, the reason, okay. So the reasoning for him not being homeschooled and Benji not is because yeah, Frank probably, probably did do a better job educating himself than the American educational system would have done, but it did nothing for his social skills. I was going to say, they probably yeah, were like, oh no. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Liquid so, nitrogen is not a good friend for a seven-year-old. We need yeah. to put Benji with other children. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Benji still has it rough, but he has a but he's he's more socially grounded than Frank somehow. Frank is, yeah. Yeah. Well, not somehow. It's 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 yeah, it's Benji. Damn. Yeah. Good, good chaos round. Yeah, and then yeah, he uh-huh. Yeah, and yeah, he he the, I will say the catch for the holding breath for two minutes is uh he might be able to, but it hasn't been confirmed because 
as I wrote here, you really think he can keep his mouth shut and brain focused for that long? You know, that's fair. That's true. That's fair. <laughs> Yeah. Like he has yeah. a lot to do. He's a yeah. busy man. Does he have two minutes to sit there and do nothing? Yeah, like this I is like, I just so... in, in like, my this mind, is a guy who even while he's working on his science thing will make noises and talk to himself. That is true. I thought the one way that it might have happened is him working on something and like like oh I should try to hold my breath and then he starts holding his breath and then he just starts working and doesn't think about the fact that he's holding his breath and then he like passes out. <laughs> he's well, like he wakes up. He's like, dude, how long was that? Yeah, like, time. time. <laughs> Funny you know. enough, I have hit that zone before where you're just in the elements. You don't oh, think yeah. to yourself, I should hold oh, my yeah. breath. You just hit this point where you go, I haven't breathed. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to breathe. I haven't yeah. eaten lunch in two days. 